Hello, everyone. Welcome to Godly Play. So today's story is called The Ten Best Ways or The Ten Commandments. Before we begin our story, I hope you are nice and cozy. And if you're not, you can pause the video and grab your favorite stuffed animal or blanket or both and then come back and press play and we'll start. Let's begin in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for everyone that's gathered here and please be with us as we learn about the 10 best ways. In Jesus name, amen. Okay, so I'm going to move my computer so you can see all the fun props we have for today's story. This is the desert. Now the desert can be a very dangerous place because the desert is very, very hot during the day and it's very extremely cold at night. So people have to wear a lot of layers to stay warm at night, but then they also have to wear layers to protect themselves from getting burned from the sun. Also, there is no food or water in the desert. Sometimes the wind blows and it can change the shape of the sand. So it's very easy to get lost. Now our story begins with the people of Egypt. They had just gone through water into freedom. And now they found themselves in the desert. Moses and the people of Egypt. Now they were very, very excited because they finally were free. So they were singing and they were dancing. Miriam led the dancing. And they were just so excited to be free. They could go anywhere. And they were making their way across the desert. And before too long, people started complaining. I'm too hot. I'm tired. I'm bored. Are we there yet? I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. You can imagine. Well, they kept following Moses and eventually they came to a mountain. This is Mount Sinai. And when they got there, everybody was afraid to go near the mountain because there were a lot of fires and smoke on the mountain. That is everyone except Moses. Moses was very brave. And he climbed up on the mountain. And before long, the people couldn't even see him anymore because he was so high up. Now Moses wanted to be very close to God. And God was there on the mountain. And Moses was very close to God as well. And he knew what God wanted him to do. And that was to write the 10 best ways on tablets, which were rocks that he found up at the top of the mountain. So he did as God asked, and he wrote down the 10 best ways, one on each tablet, and then he came back down the mountain to share with the people. And when he got to the bottom, they were very relieved that he came back, and he said, I have something to show you. And the people gathered around, to hear and see. And Moses said, God shared with me the 10 best ways and he wants me to share with you. And so the people listened. So there was really three categories to the 10 best ways. And let's see, I think I'm gonna move this up. There, I wanna make sure that you can see all of the props. So the first category was love God. And 
and then God loves us. And then love people. So each of the 10 best ways is going to go in front of one of these. So the first one is don't serve other gods. That goes under love God. And other gods might be, I don't know, jewelry or money or boats or cars, just things that aren't God. The next one is make no idols to worship. And number, the third one says, be serious when you say my name. The next one says, keep the Sabbath holy. And that one goes to God loves us. He wants us to take a special day just to be close to him. The next one is honor your mother and father. And that goes under love people. Because your parents are people too. Number six, don't kill. That also goes under love people. And then it says, don't break your marriage. Now, some people, when they get married, that when they get married, they think it's going to be forever, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. Number eight says, don't steal. Don't lie. Don't even want what others have. And so those were the 10 best ways that Moses shared with the people that he got from God on top of the mountain. I wonder which of the commandments or 10 best ways you like the best. I wonder which one is most important. I wonder which one is especially for you. I wonder if there are any we can leave out and still have all we need. Now let's get back to the story. I wonder what part of the whole story you like the best. I wonder what part of the story is the most important. I wonder where you are in the story or what part of the story is about you. I wonder if there's any part of the story we can leave out and still have all of the story we need. And now I am going to put these back in our box. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we'll put these ones on the top and they fit all back together just like a puzzle. And then we're going to put these back on our shelf and fold up our desert.
right, everybody. I hope you like the story today. And thank you so much for sharing it with me. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.